Hi, so I'm uh, I'm actually in mid Wales at the moment and out and about. Um, this is the Dovey Estuary you can see behind me. Um, this is somewhere I've been to many, many times over the years, but I've never really felt like I've kind of got the painting that I wanted or, or got anything really decent out of it. I don't know why really. Um, just just never felt like it really came together. I mean, I know this um, area quite well. I know this landscape quite well, um, but I think when I've been here before, I've been trying to produce work um, from start to finish on the spot. And, you know, I'm not really working like that at the moment. Obviously I'm doing more, um, you know, sketching, rapid sketching, um, you know, and then taking all that stuff back to the studio, tearing it up, playing around with it and uh, using those sketches to, to produce something in the studio. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, that process will help me to, you know, get something a little bit more interesting out of it than I had done in the past. Um, you know, it's not like I haven't done paintings outside in the past. I, mean, I spent a long time um, uh, doing a lot of painting from start to finish outside. It's just that here, it's uh, never quite come together. So I'm looking forward to it, see where it goes. I'm gonna go a little bit further up to get a better view out over the estuary. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. Okay, so I've just made it through the wood and uh, out into this much more open view. Um, this is the Dovey Estuary, you can see behind me. So um, yeah, it's really beautiful. And um, yeah, I've got a little bench here um, that I can uh, use as a table, which is quite handy. I don't think that's, uh, I think that's new since the last time I've been, I've been here for a few years. So uh, um, yeah, that'd be handy because I don't really like um, sitting down when I'm painting. So. Um, quite to stand up so maybe not quite high enough so well we'll see I can use it kind of use it as a table so As usual, what I'm really trying to do right at the beginning, just try and get some movement, get something down on the on the page to uh, to respond to, and uh, you know, I just like to kind of look up and try and get in the. sort of mapping sort of areas of dark and light. But as always, trying to almost avoid making a, a picture. Um, that's not really what I want and I don't want the, you know, I don't want it to be too obvious. And also I find particularly early, early stages of painting like this, it's obviously really early stages, just a few marks down. Is if I put down, um, you know, if I start thinking too too carefully about um, composition, uh, I get, you know, I get stuck. I get stuck with that composition, and uh, you know, won't be able to get away from it. So, you know, there we go. So, yeah. Um, you know, obviously I don't want to get too kind of bound up in, you know, tight composition because I want to be able to feel really 
um, free to rip and tear and muck about with the paintings and recompose them, all sorts of things with them back at the studio. So, you know, if you get too uh, you know, too tight with the composition, you know, too involved in the composition at this point, um, I don't feel like I have that kind of freedom to, to play around with them, you know, they'll be too precious and I don't really want that, so. So I'm just keeping it really simple at the moment, just as a start, you know, I've got loads of paper so I can do, you know, quite a few. Um, I'm really just uh, looking at darks and lights and you know, I've just used a bit of this dark paint and uh, some uh, bit of that olive green, so yeah, just keep going. I might actually do for this one, I'll put a few pencil marks in it. Um, I like to keep them nice and light and simple. I think that's one of the, the beauties of working um, in this way where I know that I'm not trying to finish necessarily, you know, finish what, uh, you know, get it all done now. Is that I can, you know, keep them light, keep them fresh, knowing that the, you know, I can add into it or you recompose it later on. But I think, you know, through there it's looking quite nice because the, it's quite a lot of nice sort of bluey gray clouds up there and I think that's kind of got a nice sort of feeling of that really. So yeah, I might leave that one there, move on to the next one. So what I tend to find is as I'm uh, going on through a, a session like this is that the first one, you kind of think it's okay and the first one or two they seem all right but then like, I always look back on them thinking oh you know, actually they were a bit timid and uh, so you know they kind of change I think um, you know throughout the session of painting you know what I'm looking at and how I'm thinking about it and uh, I always find that I get um, You know, I get ideas for the next one while I'm doing, I'm doing one, and then you kind of get to start seeing things that I hadn't spotted originally. You start to get ideas for the for the next one while you're doing, while you're working on one. You're kind of thinking, oh, actually, I mean, maybe on that next one I could do focus a bit more on the estuary. You know, this one can be a bit more about the clouds. Um, quite liked all that splatty stuff that I was doing. Maybe I'll do a bit more of that next time. Um, you know, so so it's nice to be able to do that. I think if I was just trying to do um, one one painting from start to finish, you know, I'd have to be thinking about um, you know locking in where everything's going to be and how it's going to look. And yeah, it's a really nice big um, open sky uh, feeling out there today. I want to try and get some of this kind of soft blue in there, the sky, just pull in some of that colour, feeling of the direction of the, the kind of weight of the sky coming down. I think it's nice to make marks um, that, you know, sometimes they can be directional marks, you know, a lot of this, these pencil marks you know, about trying to get a sense of the movement of the air. Uh, you know, the feeling, because, you know, obviously when you're standing outside somewhere, you know, when you're looking at, if you're looking at a painting, it's quite static, isn't it? Um, you know, it's, but you know, when I'm out here, I can feel, you know, the movement of the air, the wind, you know, there's temperature changes as the sun comes in and out, you know, all those sorts of things, you know, there's changes in, the environment around try and get those things in the you know make a mark that sort of responds to those those kinds of things you know rather than solely focusing on these 
seemingly immovable things like hills and you know the land I like to look at these slightly more um, ephemeral you know parts of the landscape you know the, the feeling that you get when you see a big kind of dark cloud looming <laughs> looming over the uh, estuary I'll have to take some shots of what it looks like at the moment yeah, and it's really all about trying to get across the the energy I'm much more interested in the um, the feeling of the landscape and the the way that things are moving and changing than you know, these you know, really specific things about hills and you know, solid shapes and things like that. I get some more of that sort of soft blue where the um, sky is kind of reflecting into the water on the estuary.
So yeah, I think that's gone uh, pretty well so far. I'm going to carry on do a, do a few more yet, but um, yeah, you've seen the um, the sort of close ups that I've been filming while I've been going along. So I think uh, yeah, I think I've got some decent pieces out of it, and um, hopefully when I get back to where we're staying, I'll get a chance to kind of crop them up and sort of tear into them, and you know uh, get some finished pieces out of them, which I'll um, I'll put up on my Instagram. Uh, so you can have a look and on my website so anyway thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was useful and uh you know if you're not already subscribed to the channel really appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button and uh i'll see you soon thanks a lot